Hi, I'm Larry Dignan from Constellation Insights, and we're here with Lori Wheeler from MultiCare Health System. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So rumor has it you optimize and execute and stuff. So <laughs> <laughs> let's, which is a little weird at CC. Can you just explain your title and kind of what you do? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm the Chief Operating Officer of our IS&T division at MultiCare Health System. And essentially it's running the business and operations of IT. It is turning that strategy into reality. It is process, it is finance, budgets, contracts, and it's really just making the things a reality and making sure my big thing is the internal workings of IT that we're a super well-oiled machine, so. So how does that change your approach to um, AI and all those fancy buzzwords we hear about? Well, you know, a lot of these conversations, I love them. My big passion is around, again, how do you make these things a reality, right? And so really big on change management and talked yesterday about, you know, how do you find those champions in operations? So as we know, healthcare, we get a little nervous sometimes, you know, implementing new technologies because healthcare, you know, that's not their jam. That's not their specialty. It's taking care of patients. And we have a ton of opportunity with the technology. So it's finding a way to digest it and make it easy for them to adopt, to love, to understand. And that's kind of how I have to approach everything. So, so how do you find a champion? You know, I've worked in my organization a very long time. And so it's developing a lot of real, a lot of relationships with everyone. And we go out, we round, we meet with our hospital presidents, you meet with the chief nurses, and you just inherently find those folks and they kind of find you too. And so you can just go and through rounding, you're going to meet someone in the organization that you can just tell has that kind of passion around the technology while working in healthcare. So what are some of the things you're hoping to optimize? Next year, my big focus is really on um, our ServiceNow optimization. And so we have put in ServiceNow with regards to our service desk. It's our employee resource center back end. And so when it comes to having our search functionality, having our virtual agent and really minimizing the calls to the service desk, of course. But right now, we don't have a lot of content. And so it's just not usable yet. And so again, back to making it super easy for our healthcare workers is really where I'm going to focus. So is that going to sit on top of Epic or whatever you use? Uh, no, it doesn't sit on top of Epic, but it's, it's partnered with, um, we also implemented Workday last year. And okay. so we did a full ERP replacement and then ServiceNow is really our employee resource center. And so it really just partners and integrates from that perspective. Okay. And so you moved to Workday, HR and financials? And supply chain. Okay. We did it all. Did it all, okay. It was quite the adventure. You needed change champions there. Right. <laughs> For sure. So the change management, how important is it or how hard is it in healthcare? It, I feel it's, it's very challenging. Again, especially when it comes to technology because, you know, healthcare providers, right? Nurses, ancillary staff, their specialty is being at the bedside, right? And so when it comes to adopting technology, that's the last thing they wanna think about. And so making sure you have really solid change management is super and super important. And especially when it comes to Epic and your medical record, you know, I, super kudos to, to all the other industries out there. When it comes to taking care of humans, it's, I feel it's just inherently a little different. Right. And so I think it's super critical that you get it as right as you can. And how do you build cred in a health system? You know, it really is back to back to basics of, you know, your follow up and follow through, right? Building relationships, building trust, those kinds of things people notice and then people call on you. I've I have longevity longevity in the organization and I have people that I haven't talked to in seven years and they'll reach out with a random question just because they know I can, I may not know the answer, but I can definitely figure it out. Right. So, so if I gave you a magic wand to optimize or 
address some tech issue in the healthcare system, what would it be? I think it is the usability and functionality of Epic at the bedside. I think that, again, the last thing you want folks to do is, you know, be messing around with your, your health record and when they really should be focusing on you. And so last year we put in, uh, or we piloted actually, um, Dax Copilot and that ambient technology. And I had, I had an experience with my daughter and we went to the doctor and he was a test subject and he's like, oh, hey, Brooklyn, let me put this phone next to us and it's going to record everything. It's going to put it up in your record. And she's like, all right, you know, and they chat and things like that. And then he shows him it, you know, when it's over and then, and then we leave and I'm all stoked because, you know, we're just piloting DAX and I, you know, how the physicians like it. And her response was, it was very odd because he looked at me the whole time. And being able to improve healthcare, she, she has grown up only seeing a physician staring at the desktop to turn around to talk to her, to go back, which the charting is great, super important, but the relationship with a patient is just super critical. So Dax, that, that's the old nuance, right? The Correct. Microsoft owns? Yep, okay. Microsoft owns. So it transcribes it and then puts it in the health record. Yep. So what's that, what do you think that means for like natural language stuff? Like I know Oracle had their Cerner thing they just announced where yeah. it's kind of all AI input and that kind of thing. You think that's where everything will go? Um, I think quite a bit. I think, you know, we've talked a lot about where do you insert the human in the quality controls and things like that. So I think we'll move to that. I think you'll always need that quality control and, and any human at some point in time for the validation and sign off. I think there's too much regulation and legal and all of all of the things that'll make it completely you know not dependent but and does that natural language change the workflow or is it kind of more of the same because doctors have always walked around with recorders and speaking into things i think it changes the workflow a little again i can i think it makes it better but they it does dramatically change their workflow in terms of you know they review and sign off together with the patient versus walking around with a recorder and giving it to transcription later that night. Right. Right. And so now it's more real time and they need more conversation with the patient while they're in the room. So how do you think the virtual agent stuff will work I as, think, as you optimize service yeah. now and start looking at processes? Well, it's all about what we give it. Right. And right. so if we have enough, I, my big goal is to just minimize, you know, calls to HR, calls to the service desk, and that ability to do the self-service. I mean, we do it in everything else. Right. And at least for us, and I think a lot of other health core, healthcare organizations, they just don't do a really good job with, with providing the content. And so, you know, the, again, I go back to the time back, right? I want time back for folks. I don't want to have, you know, the service desk, you know, on the phone all the time. How do you minimize the calls to that? So I think it'll make it incredibly a lot better and yeah, just think it'll make it a lot better. Again, the last thing a nurse wants to do on a break is spend five minutes on the service desk, right? Right, so, so. The, so the time or the returns are time mm -hmm. and probably customer experience yeah. or patient experience. Absolutely. All right, thanks All right. a lot. Thanks thank for you. joining us. Yeah, thank you.